Welcome to this video guide, intended for use alongside the second lesson in a series of resources on the PCR process. This second video will guide you in using the PCR process to amplify a specific fragment of your DNA sample that was collected during lesson 1. For this lesson you will need thin-walled PCR tubes, a tray to hold the PCR tubes, a micro pipette capable of pipetting a 20 microliter volume, the PCR master mix, Begin by taking a thin-walled PCR tube and labelling it with your initials. This will ensure that the PCR samples from different students do not get mixed up later in the experiment. Next, using a suitable micropipette, remove 20 microliters of supernatant from the microcentrifuge tube containing your DNA template that was prepared in the previous lesson. Transfer your DNA into the PCR tube that was labelled with your initials at the start of this lesson. Note that it is important not to transfer any of the matrix beads into the PCR tube from the microcentrifuge tube as this will inhibit the PCR reaction. Next, take 20 microliters of your PCR master mix which will be yellow in colour, and transfer this to the PCR tube that already contains your DNA template. Mix the two together by pipetting up and down in the tube a few times. Note that bubbles in the PCR tube, especially at the bottom, should be avoided. Your DNA samples are now ready for the PCR process. A PCR cycler will be used to run the PCR process on your DNA samples and multiply the specific DNA fragment of interest. Place the PCR tube into the PCR cycler and close the lid. In a classroom situation, all students' DNA samples will be placed into the PCR cycler at the same time. Make sure that the correct PCR program has been selected on the PCR cycler and then push the button labelled Run. This will begin the PCR process that will run for 3 hours and undergo 40 cycles of amplification. When this is complete, the PCR tubes can be removed and their contents analysed in the next lesson. This is the end of lesson 2. This resource was created at the University of Bath by two natural sciences students, Ben Evans and Ella Baskerville.